Hi, this is Justin Griefentrog from Psych Arts. Uh, this is the quickest explanation of balanced and unbalanced cables, hopefully. And here's an example of a TS, a TRS, and an XLR cable. A TS is an unbalanced cable, usually used for instruments. Um, an XLR cable is usually used for microphones or line levels that are sent um, kind of everywhere. Um, a TRS uh, cable is usually has two different roles, uh, either as a stereo unbalanced cable or as a mono balanced cable. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. TS or unbalanced cables are usually used for instruments um, and over 15 or 20 feet they actually can gather noise um, when they're used or when they're, they're moved around. Um, XLR cables however can be run up to 100 feet or more and usually there's no noise um, that's added to the signal um, because there's actually a negative channel which cancels it out. So what about TRS cables then? TRS cables have three parts of the actual jack, the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. Um, the sleeve is, is the shielding of the cable itself um, that the TS cable has, and obviously the XLR cable has as well. However, um, if you want to use it as a stereo cable, the tip and the ring essentially fun function as left and right. Um, if it's used as a mono balanced cable, um, the tip is the signal, the ring is the negative signal, which actually cancels out any noise, and then the sleeve is the, the shielding of the cable itself. Uh, so they can be used in either way, um, and an XLR cable, actually, the three connectors in an XLR cable do the same thing um, as a TRS when it's used mono. So why not just use TRS cables for instruments? Um, a, a couple Google searches um, will, will tell you that some guitarists believe that it actually does not um, allow the tone to come out of the instrument in a certain way. Um, another reason is actually that it's more expensive to produce instruments um, that would then have a, a balanced connector coming out of it. Uh, regardless, um, if, if the original instrument cable is less than 15 or 20 feet before it's converted, to a TRS or a bounce signal, and usually in a direct box, um, it, it really doesn't matter. So to wrap up this quick and dirty summary of unbalanced and balanced cables, TS cables are usually used for instrumentation, um, and, and they can actually gather noise in a run that's more than 15 or 20 feet. Um, an XLR cable can be run up to 100 feet or so or more without gathering extra noise. Um, they're usually used for line level signals or um, directly from microphones. Um, and TRS kind of do this double duty. They can either be a stereo signal um, that's unbalanced and would gather noise um, after a certain length, or they can be used as a balanced mono signal. Um, and oftentimes they're used in, in uh, like studio monitors is, is the best example. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Get you in and out of here quick. Again, this is Justin from PsychArts.